Hi guys, welcome to Nana's Corner. My channel is all about learning to DIY, craft, and cook without spending a lot of money. If that's what you're looking for, be sure to subscribe and then click on the bell when it appears so you won't miss when I upload something new. And if you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know you'd like to see more. Stop throwing away money with the dust. I'm going to show you how to make a fast and easy, reusable and washable Swiffer duster for just a dollar. And if you can't sew or don't want to sew, I'll show you a no sew option too. So for today's Swiffer duster that's reusable, we're going to get a Dollar Tree handy chamois and that measures 16.25 inches by 13 and a half inches or 41.3 centimeters by 34.3 centimeters and if you don't have a Dollar Tree near you you can use what you have fleece would work very good for this project um, if you have old pajamas anything that you can dust with is what you'll need for this project so we're gonna open it up and one piece which is a dollar will make one reusable chamois that you can dust with wash it let it dry and then it's ready for use again so let me give you the measurements we are going to and these measurements don't have to be exact I wrote them down here and I'll put them in the description below but there we're going to need two pieces seven and three fourths wide by six and three fourths wide which is basically you're cutting the chamois in half so it doesn't have to be that accurate and then you'll cut out two pieces that are seven and three fourths by four inches and then you'll be left with an extra piece that you can use for you know washing or whatever cleaning you got an extra rag around okay so we're basically just going to measure this what did I do with my marker and we'll do seven and three fourths seven and three fourths make a line down the middle And like I said, it's not exactly accurate, but it's close enough. Okay, and you're going to cut that in half. I'm going to use a rotary cutter, but you can, these cut very easily with just plain scissors. And I'll do two versions of this. One that is sewn, you can either use a machine or hand sew it. And then we're going to go ahead and do one with hot glue. For people that don't have a sewing machine, don't know how to sew, don't want to sew. And then this one, you're basically just going to cut in half as well. Which will be six and three fourths. Don't stress over your measurements. You can actually fold it in half, get a crease, and do it that way as well. Okay, these are your two back pieces. And then you're going to take the other half that you cut off. And you're going to want them about four inches so four eight four eight it's a very simple project but it's going to save a lot of money in the long run no more going out and buying the ones that you have to get from Swiffer and when you run out you got to make sure you have some on hand and 
Then if you don't, then your dusting has to wait, which, I mean, that's not always a bad thing, but you can't dust when you want to. And then you have this extra piece, like I said, that can be used for a rag, dishwashing. They hold a lot of water. They're, um, they're very durable. It does say, I want to point out that it does say, do not use in dryer and do not iron and no fabric softener. I think that has to do with um, shrinkage. When you put it in the dryer, it might shrink up, so it might no longer fit. But these dry very quickly. You just wring them out, hang them up, and they'll be dry in no time. Okay, so what we have now is our four pieces, our two bigger pieces, and then our two smaller pieces. What we're going to do now is we're going to place them somewhat in the middle smaller one on top and then let me explain this is going to be the front of your Swiffer and then this is going to be the back of your Swiffer okay the first step we're going to do is sew and you're going to sew straight up the middle of this one to about an inch from the top and then the same thing on the other side and once we have that done, we're going to take them and put them together. We'll flip back the smaller sides and then we're going to do two more stitches to hold it together. Seems a little bit more complicated at first, but it's really not. You'll see as we go along. Let me go ahead and get to my sewing machine and we'll do the next step. So we have our two sections sewn together. What I basically did was right up the middle, I just did a straight line, reverse stitched, left a little room. It doesn't have to be exact. You can go all the way off if you would like. Got two of them. Now what we're going to do is match these up. We're going to match the big ones up to each other. And you want to make sure that where you sewed, those lines matched up. And you're just going to, you're going to pin. You don't have to pin if you feel comfortable that you can keep it lined up. But I'm going to go ahead and pin it. Let's see, we'll pin it here. A little crooked pin. Okay, so you're going to pin these together, and you want to make sure you hold back your two smaller. You're only pinning the two longer sides together. You want to pin as close as you can to it. Pin these real quick. back, line them up, and like I said, you're not wearing this or anything, so it doesn't have to be super accurate or straight or anything like that. Okay, let me give you the concept here. This is the Swiffer handle, and you're going to basically be sliding it in between these two bigger pieces, okay? So that's where you're going to get your lines from. Okay, so you want to slot, sew up the middle. Oops, pulled the pin out. Up the middle, basically up the middle of here, and then you're going to sew another line here to make a channel for this to slide into. Okay, so let me sew that up and I'll be back.
Okay, so we have it sewn together. We got our two channels. And one thing I wanted to mention, um, I'm not sure you can get an off-brand of Swiffer dusters. What you want to do is the size of this slot, you'll need to make sure that you can fit the prong in that's on the duster. I'm sure they're probably similar, but they're also flexible, so it, you shouldn't have a problem. I did one inch in between my first sewing line and the second one. And then you're just going to slip these two into the slots, just like that, in between, and you slide it on. Now, make sure it fits. It fits. It's pretty snug. I mean, it does come off. You got to, so you can wash it. Um, but now what you're going to do is just along each, I still got some pins in there, what you're going to do is take your scissors and just this small flap, you're just going to go every so often, you're going to make some cuts, half inch, um, inch, quarter inch, whatever you prefer, just make sure you don't go over your sewing line. Okay, you want it to go as, you know, pretty close. But just up to your sewing line. And that's going to give you your little things that reach out and grab the dust. And you're going to do the same thing on these two. On the outside of your channel, you'll do this smaller one and then these two. And then that's pretty much it. You're done. You just stick it on and start dusting. Okay, let me trim all these up and I'll show you how it looks at the end. Okay, so it's all cut up. All the small ones, all the big ones. It's all cut up. Now we're just going to slide the Swiffer right in there. And voila! You have a reusable, washable, Swiffer duster for your dusting needs. Now, let me get my glue gun heated up and we'll show you just how to do it with a glue gun. If you don't like a sew, you're not a sewer, you don't have a sewing machine. I'll be right back. Okay, so we have our four pieces of chamois that we're going to hot glue together to make the duster. What you're going to do is take one of the smaller pieces, fold it in half lengthwise, and you can either put the glue straight on here or straight down the middle, whichever you prefer. And you just want to put a good line of glue. Try and keep it as straight as possible down the middle. And you're going to want to place this right in the center of the big piece. And just squish that down so that it sticks to it good. And you're going to do the same with the second set. Fold it in half lengthwise. I just find that this is easy to find the center. But you do what you easiest for you. Everybody's different. Just put the glue down the center. And then attach this. Roughly to the center. And press it down. Okay, now this is one side of your duster and this is the other side of your duster. What you want to do is straight down where you put that first line of glue, take your glue gun and put another line of glue right down the center. Now 
you're going to lay the second set right on top, matching the edges and center it. Simple. Now you have the main part of your duster together. Okay? Now, to show you, so you don't get confused, you're going to the top two pieces, and this, uh, the frame for your duster, will be alongside of there. Okay? So, now you want to figure out approximately how far over you need to glue. I mean, I would say, let's see, what is this? The edge of my duster is right here. So, I would say about an inch, maybe a little more, just to give it some room, over from your first glue line okay from your center so you're gonna pick up the big piece and go over you can use my mat put line up your center and then you're gonna put your glue right down this line right here I need another glue stick This one you want to keep pretty straight if you can. Don't worry too much. It's nothing to stress over. Because it's pretty flexible. I'm going to do that. And then let that fall back over. And press it down. Now you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Lift it up. center right there and then about an inch over from your center line put your glue and let it fold over and now you have your duster put together Let's see this fit in between the two big pieces, slide it in, and there you go. And these are what you're going to cut. Now, because you don't have the stitch line like you did when you sew it, when you cut, you need to be pretty careful. You can either leave your, um, your piece in so you know where to cut up to, or you can just kind of find it, you know, make, flip this up. Okay, it's right about there. You don't want to go past there. Find it on this side. It's right there. You don't want to go past there. Okay, same thing with this. There's your glue line. You don't want to go past there. There's your glue line underneath. You don't want to go past there. Okay? And then with the, just as you did before with the uh, sewn one, you're just going to clip up to that line. Now keep in mind, this glue one is easy, and you don't have to get out your sewing machine or hand sew it. However, when you wash it, I don't know how well hot glue stands up in the washing machine. So I think I would recommend hand washing this. Soak it out real good, rinse it out, use some detergent if you want, your favorite detergent. And then squeeze it dry and then hang it, squeeze out the water and then hang it to dry the rest of the way. But that's it. That's your reusable, waterproof Swiffer duster that you paid a dollar for and you Don't have to keep buying them. You don't have to throw them out 
just use it over and over and over. I hope you like this video. I hope you give it a try. Let me know in the comments below uh, if you're going to sew one, if you're going to hot glue one, if you've ever made one before, and what's your take on a reusable, washable Swiffer Duster. Good idea? Or eh? Let me know below. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll, that'll let me know if you let, want more of the same kind of ideas. You know, similar. Um, if you haven't seen my other sewing video, I've made, I'll leave a link at the end of this video. And it's how to take a hood off of a hoodie jacket and turn it into a collar. Okay guys, bye. Have fun.